Well, good Monday morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us. You are watching CW39 Houston Happens. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and we are so excited to have you joining us. In fact, I am joined by my TV sister and my good friend, Miss Star Harvey. So, Star, I'm pretty excited about this. So am I. Yes, it's a new <laughs> month, new yes. things happening yes. around here. So, here's the thing. Our producer, Ashley, and I thought, since, you know, Houston Happens is new on CW39, that we should play kind of like a little bit of a new game. So, you know the newlywed game? Did you ever watch that? Ooh, I did. I grew up on that. Yeah, same here. Same here. My <laughs> mom and I used to watch in bed. We'd stay up late at night watching it. Well, we thought yes. we'd, it would be fun to kind of do like a newly host Ooh, game. Yeah, okay. so like, would you rather this or that? Okay. But PG, of course. <laughs> so, we're going to play a little bit of a game. Now, here's the thing. I've not seen the questions. Have you seen the questions? I have not seen the questions, and I'm a little bit worried, okay? I know, me too. I don't know. Ashley's been pretty secretive about that. Yes. That's our producer extraordinaire. So everybody at home, play along, right? Yes, you ready let's, to serve let's up do some it. Tea? I'm All right. ready. All right, so first question for us, and we'll write on our board, and then we'll explain our answer. Okay. okay. Star, would you rather A, go skydiving, B, do deep sea diving, C, both, or D, Neither. Ooh. I'm cheating. Can I look at yours? I mean, you can. <laughs> All right. All righty. Oh, fun can story. You see? Oh, yeah. What's I got yours? I got a C. You said both. Both? Both. You'd go skydiving? I have already been uh, deep sea diving. Yeah. Uh, I would never do it again. Um, but I've done it already, so I think that kind of counts. I mean, yeah, that counts. Yeah. And and I would love to go skydiving. What? Absolutely Why? love it. It's on. What do you mean? I'm so I, scared of I that. I want to drop through some clouds. Oh, like that's, that's on my meteorologist yeah, I was like, like things and to do. Yeah, meteorologist <laughs> nerd alert is going up for sure. Um, I'll take I said it. Um, no. I would do deep sea diving. Okay. As long as I like knew, you know, someone had my back and was like made sure that the path was going. Okay. I won't go be going. No, no, no. I won't be going that back down there with you. But All right. I, I got your back and all the other all right situations. yeah and I, I'm not going up and playing with you so here we go <laughs> all, right. all right your turn star you ask the next question. all right so uh, next question uh, would you rather read people's thoughts Ooh. teleport or C have the ability to change the weather or D make things disappear Ooh. Ooh. oh my goodness this is hard I know I is like, there an all of the above that's kind of how I feel Okay, but I don't. See. I kind of don't know. Want to know what people are thinking? Because I have good intuition, and then what if they're like thinking bad things about me? You know what? <laughs> no no, no one ever thinks bad things about oh, you. Oh, I love you. This is my friends. <gasps> hey, I said C too. Oh, so okay. why? Yeah, change the weather. Yes. <laughs> why? Well, first of all, like if there was a hurricane, no offense. I mean, I know we're CW thirty nine used to yes. no wait weather and traffic, yes. but. I, I don't want to be dealing with that or flooding. Like we had to cancel my birthday plans. Oh, we did because but of flooding. I, I mean, I I'm excited for hurricane season. Uh, Once that, again, nerd but, alert. But, nerd I, alert. <laughs> but the things that I would change are are the heat. I don't enjoy the heat. You hate it. And I, the humidity. I do not love the humidity. So I would change it to just being 70 and like have it oh. rain every other day. Okay, I, I would do I that. I enjoy the rain. Okay, okay, that's a good one. That's a good <laughs> one. All right, so All right. next question. I kind of like this game. Me too. Would you rather, speaking of hair, oh my a, goodness. have a bad hair day, B, worst <gasps> outfit, or C, nails not on What? Week. Ashley, this is... Ashley this is, knows, uh -uh. exactly. I know what you're going to say. Oh, my God. Um, oh, man, I don't like to dress bad, but I feel like a hair starts me... I mean, okay, we'll just do. <laughs> None. None. I, I refuse to show up. Ashley's okay? laughing in our ear. Yeah, we'll I, stay home. Yes, I will stay home. If my hair is not on fleek, my nails are not on fleek. Girl, we know bad about the nails. Yes. Okay. Okay, girl. Yes. I, I, will, I, re I will refuse to yeah, show up. Yeah, and you know, like, mm -mm. hair, to me, like, if I'm having a good hair day, I know it's going to be a good day. Yes, Like, always. I feel confident. I said, B, I, I mean, haven't we all worn that outfit where we, especially on camera, where and you look like, back and you're like, never oh, again. girl. <laughs> or my mom's like, oh, honey. I love those. Yeah, I love that. Yes, so, yes. That, yeah, no. Okay. All right. What's the last? Okay, last Ooh. one. Let's see. Would you rather have dinner with someone from the past. Oh. What? Uh, someone from the future or keep me in the present? Ooh. Oh, gonna I'm going to say. I know. I think I know. Yep. Oh, you're doing yours bigger. Where's I should do mine bigger. I know. I, I bet twinsies. I know who you do it. So who would you have? 
Yeah. I would have lunch again with my grandma. Who's I knew so you were going to say that and I get emotional and I would with my Nana. So a special fun fact about us is yes. that we both love our grandmothers dearly yes, and yes. they both love sunflowers and before we even knew each other yeah, we were, we were like together. sunflowers so we think they brought us together. <laughs> I just got chills. So, so yeah. Hey, we should, the four, the four yes. of us have. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last question. Oh, my turn. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is a none of the above. Name one fun fact about yourself. So go for it. You don't oh have to write gosh. it. Oh my gosh. Okay. A uh, fun fact about myself. Oh, there's a list. Okay. <laughs> we'll start with one. I think it's really fun is that my arms are double jointed. What? Yes. Can you show me? I'm kind of like a nerd and an alien. What? So let's see if I can put my, my <gasps> hand here and hopefully we should have like, <gasps> oh, like I, make I, anyone like sick, is it? I, oh see? my gosh. You know the, sir oh, whoa. Double jointed. Whoa. Okay. How that, cool is that? I mean, I, I could like <laughs> high five you from any angle. <laughs> um, well, so I guess we're kind of a freak show because my fun fact is I'm an anime actress as well. And my scream is actually trademarked. Can we hear it? No. So oh. fun fact about that too is I had to scream for an audition once. My mom was there. She's watching. Hi, mom. And she's reading her book and uh -huh. I'm auditioning and I screamed and the people in the lobby thought they needed to call the police <gasps> oh because goodness. it's so blood curdling. Like I could almost, oh, so when I go in the scary. voice booth, they have to write down, I've busted speakers and stuff. So okay. um, fun fact about me, <laughs> I'll scream while you do your tricks. Yes. <laughs> scary. That's definitely a freak show there. <laughs> Maybe scary. why not? We could start our own circus here at CW39. Well, that is super fun. I like this game, Ashley. Feel free to always, you know, it's kind of like girl talk. Share, share your Share your scary. Your hey, yeah. if you guys want to tweet us or send us a Facebook message about something fun about you, let us know. Yes. We're all about sharing the love. Also, here's the thing. Remember, tomorrow is Teacher Appreciation Day. So here's the thing. We want you, a lot of you already have, send us your favorite teacher and we will actually give them a shout out. Also, this is going to be fun. You know, we love games. So we're going to be playing a little game where Fort Bend ISD students will ask us a few subject questions. We will be schooled, if you will. So check it out tomorrow. I have to say I'm a little bit nervous that I'm not as smart as these Fort Bend ISD kids star. That is so funny because I just had this conversation and I was like, you know, uh, what does it take to be smarter than an elementary uh, <laughs> student? And it could get pretty uh, tricky. And uh, while we're talking about our uh, little ones uh, today, we want to make sure that we sent them out the door, not only today, but also this week with that water. We want to make sure they're staying hydrated this week because we're going to see some heat carrying through all week long. We're uh, hitting that near a 90 mark of four our Monday. Talk about a way to get the week started there. So we'll see some clouds to start our week, our day, but then we'll gradually see that sunshine make its way out. And uh, that heat index is going to have us feeling like we are in the 90s for uh, this Monday. Take a look at where we are already at getting our morning started. OK, this is 80 degrees up at the Bush Airport. A lot of us just right behind that mark there. And as they talk about our future feels like this is what I'm talking about right there. You'll see it is going to feel like we are nearing that 90 mark just this afternoon. So definitely want to make sure that you're staying hydrated. I have to say this over and over again. We do see tomorrow we have a cold front passing through. It's going to bring with it a chance of some isolated showers there. We're likely to see that that sunshine is going to return through the rest of our week here. So once we make it past our Tuesday, we're going to see some beautiful conditions. And then Maggie, as this weekend rolls around, we'll see another chance at some more isolated showers. So Ooh, I'm hoping, though, is the weather going to be good for Mother's Day? Uh, you know, I, I'm going to just do a finger cross situation okay. here. I'm talking heat and we're also going to see some beautiful skies and a little bit of rain never hurt anybody. I know right. I enjoy it. So that's right. And you know, it's good for brunch too, yes, right? Yes. So in case oh, you all forgot, Mother's Day is this Sunday. So here's the thing. Are you still looking for the perfect gift? Well, lifestyle expert Courtney Bustios has some great ideas. Okay, Courtney, not only are you a lifestyle expert, you are a mom to two beautiful girls. So you know what moms want for Mother's Day. Oh, you're so um, sweet. With a personalized touch. I'm so excited about this. I am so excited about this too. I have to tell you, when I got this in the mail, I 
I was like a little girl again, like it was Christmas morning. <laughs> so personalized little lipstick boxes. I'm talking about Beauty Taylor NYC. So I, I'm sure you can see this. It does say Happy Mother's Day on it. I know it's a little mm -hmm. small. And they personalized it, you guys. It says my name on it. Mm -hmm. So the reason I bring all this up is obviously what an adorable Mother's Day gift. And not only for Mother's Day, I have this little box right here for my bestie. How cute is that? I love it. I need that for my for my wedding that'd be a great I was thing. just thinking of you with this Maggie but $18 you got to go online and get these they are amazing such a cute little gift um, mom loves candles so I found my yes. new favorite brand um, this is pearl street light and I love it because they have a wooden wick now I'm holding up one of my favorite scents right now but if you look inside it's a wooden wick so you kind of get that like the crackle like that campfire yeah. feeling um, I really like them they're very reasonably priced and mom loves a candle she loves her home smelling good so you got to go that route all right mom also likes jewelry um, oh, yeah. so Jamandi I wanted to show you these beautiful rings first of all they come in this adorable little bag and then these rings are just so fun they're big statement pieces I know yeah. we have some images so you guys can take a look, match it with a birthstone, maybe just a fun stone that represents some type of a relationship between your mom and, you know, whoever it might be that you're sending it to. But I just love these because they're really simple, really, really beautiful and great price point as well. All right. Mom's going to be traveling a little bit more. We're opening mm -hmm. up and it's so Vaccines. fun to be able to go out in style. How adorable is this travel bag? I this is from that. Preen Love. Now, all of their stuff is super fashionable. They've got these amazing makeup bags that I am obsessed with. And then while you're traveling too, how cute is this little crossbody bag with the pink statement strap? Everything fits in the have. other one. Totally. So love everything it. goes in your big bag. I love them if you're looking for something fun for the traveling mom. All right. I love drinking tea. I know you love it too, yes. Maggie. So Simplicity Tea, they're one of my new favorite brands that I've uh, been getting tea from. They have a subscription box. So if you're looking to give mom a gift for the whole year, check them out because it's a box that will show up to her home and she can open it up. They have really, really fun different combinations. They come in adorable packaging. So for the tea lover in your life, that is a great gift to get. I'm getting that right. for my mom. She drinks it okay, every perfect. morning. So. And, All right. Okay, last but not least, you are looking at apricot. I'm wearing the outfit right here. They have beautiful dresses. We're starting to get back out, go to those bridal showers, baby showers, the brunches, everything. I love this dress. It's absolutely perfect. Something that I can wear day to night. Really comfortable too. That's important. Well, happy early Mother's Day to you. And I guarantee you guys, if you get these, you will be your mom's favorite. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Maggie. And of course, for more on all of those, just go on over to our website after the show, CW39.com, and you just click on the Houston Happens tab. And happy early Mother's Day to you, my friend, Star. So, Thank you. what do you want for Mother's Day? <laughs> hint, hint to anybody watching. Okay, so uh, Maggie, you might call me uh, basic, but I'm gonna say it anyways, girl. I like to keep it traditional. I just, you know, I want, I want flowers. I love sunflowers. And yeah. I love to be uh, just a flowered and flowers, and, and uh, also just the um, this, the surrounding of love. You know, I, every year I get these messages from my friends and my family, uh, just you know, hyping me up about being the type of mom that I am. So if I get that this year. I'm feeling lucky and I'm feeling happy. Well, I have to say, you are an amazing mother. I have Thank so you. much respect and it's goals for me. So we're gonna be honoring mothers later this week on Houston Happens. But in the meantime, you were talking about the temperature happening to be rising. Well, here's the thing. Coming up a little bit later, I'm gonna tell you how you can save big money on your electricity. Also, Star, are you stressed lately? Yeah, yeah, this, this yeah. weather. Yeah. That's why they're stressing me out. Don't you fret, my <laughs> friend. I have a way you can live your best life. So that is headed your way and more on CW39 Houston Happens.